The latest images released by North Korea are striking. On Sunday, it test-fired an intermediate-range ballistic missile, the Hwasong-12, that is nuclear-capable. It reached a height of 2,000 kilometers, taking pictures of the Korean Peninsula along the way. But it has a range of 4,500 kilometers far enough to reach the U.S. territory of Guam. But it's not the most powerful ballistic missile in Kim Jong-un's arsenal. In 2017, North Korea tested the Hwasong-14 and 15, the latter of which could, in theory, reach the continental United States. And in 2020, it showed off an even larger ICBM, which hasn't been tested yet. North Korea has spent a lot of time uh, and investment in the past two or three years, certainly during COVID, in developing some of its missile capabilities. And that, that is aligned very closely with a five-year weapons plan that, uh, that, that North Korea announced at the beginning of 2021, with the aim to develop capabilities that will enable the North Korea to fight a modern, a modern conflict. The U.S. wants direct talks with North Korea. We've offered this over and over uh, to, uh, uh, to the DPRK, and they've not accepted it. So the question is, what's Kim Jong-un's game plan? The North Koreans aren't actually really putting forward much right now, right? I mean, they have to actually show up in order to strike a deal with the, with the Biden people. And so I'm actually, again, I'm kind of surprised with the pace of the test, because my sense is that the Biden people are willing to talk if the North Koreans will show up. It was North Korea's seventh missile test in January, a new record. Its self-imposed moratorium on missile tests appears well and truly at an end. Andrew Chappelle, Al Jazeera.